Welcome to my presentation. My name is Rina Asuti. I would like to present my research. The title is Critical and Creative Thinking, More Influential Problem Based Learning or Problem Posting Learning. First introduction. Important competencies in the era of globalization are critical and creative thinking. The demands of certain thinking skills in education that contain in the 2030 curriculum objectives are critical and creative thinking. Competencies that must be possessed by students in the 21st century are critical and creative thinking. One of the subjects taught in school in the education curriculum in Indonesia is mathematics. Mathematics is one of the main subjects given since elementary education. Mathematics has an important role in education that can help students form logical, systematic, critical, and creative thinking patterns. Mathematics is a is a subject that is very dominant in the development of science and technology. It's not just learning to count quickly or memorizing formula to solve problems. However, by learning mathematics, it leads students to be able to understand the process, analyze, communicate, and evaluate something. The fact that has happened until now, mathematics is considered a scratch subject with difficult material, which causes students' mastery of mathematics to be weak. Students often complain that they cannot understand, don't understand, don't like, and often even avoid. In interviews with teachers, the learning model that teachers often use is direct learning. Teachers are more active, and more communication during the learning process and students just listen silent get bored following the lessons it makes students have difficulty conveying expressing and communicating their opinions so the learning models must begin to be implemented properly one of the learning models that can active students in the classroom is problem-based learning or PPL. PPL is a learning situation that uses problems. This type of learning is active, integrated, and interrelated. PPL is learning that uses real problems as a context for students to learn about critical thinking and problem-solving skills. PPL can help students develop skills. PPL is used to stimulate higher order thinking. The learning model that can active students apart from PPL is problem posing. Problem posing can be interpreted as submitting or proposed question or problems. Problem posing is a process carry out so that students make mathematical experiences. Problem basing is learning that students ask questions or problems and make solutions. Submission of problems is essentially a test for students to create or formulate their own problems. Then they solve by themselves or other friends. The learning process in the classroom has an impact on student development. Teachers expect the learning process to provide maximum result in improving the students' learning abilities. One of them is to improve students' critical and creative thinking skills. Critical thinking is a source understanding. Critical thinking is thinking sensibly and reflectively. Critical thinking allows students to study problems systematically. Critical thinking has been a key factor in differentiating students who only do mathematics from those who truly understand what they are, they are doing. Critical thinking is a systematic discovery process using existing 
facts and can be accepted by common sense. The other ability is creative thinking skill. Creative thinking is a cognitive ability. Creative thinking can also be a way of generating new ideas by combining, changing, or reapplying existing ideas. Creative thinking is thinking in more than one way in solving problems. Creative thinking is a thought that can express ideas to obtain high results for students by finding their own concepts in creating new creativity. Second type of or research design. It's a quasi experimental type of research. The dependent variable was measured twice, pre-test and post-test. And then the research design used in this study was a multivariate analysis of two inequal cell parts. The independent variable is learning model and while the dependent variable are the ability to think critically and creatively. Third, research place and time. The research was carried out at three vocational schools in the 2030, 2018, 2019 academic year. Fourth, population and sample. The population of the study was all students of 10 class vocational school in Surakarta City for the 2018-2019 academic year. From the population, three schools were taken randomly as a sample. From its sample, three classes were taken randomly to get its treatment as first experimental class, second experimental class, and control class. Fifth, data and instrument. The data is in this study were obtained through the technique of giving through the technique of giving pretest and post-test validity of the instrument items is carried out by an expert or validator with aspects or criteria for review in terms of material, language, and construction. The reliability coefficient of critical thinking is 0.787 and creative thinking 0.702. Six data analyze techniques. The data analysis techniques used in this study is a statistical technique with two-way multivariate analysis with unequal cells. In multivariate analysis of variance, the assumption that must be test on the multivariate normality of population and the homogeneity of the variance and covariance matrix. Seven result. The result applied to the three classes can be seen in the following test, uh, following tables. Each class studied includes two dependent variables, namely the ability to think critically and creatively. First table, the variance covariance matrix is used to in the multivariate population normality test and the homogeneity of variance and covariance. The results obtained with this test are the data comes from a population that is normally distribute and homogeneous. Furthermore, each class that was treated with the specified learning model, the result obtained can be seen in the second table. The variance covariance matrix is used in the multivariate population normality test and the variance and covariance homogeneity test. The result obtained with this test are that the data comes from a population that is normally distributed and homogeneous. The students' initial ability data were carried out by
by various tests including normally test, homogeneity test, and balance test. On the third death table, it can be concluded that all samples come from a population with a multivariate normal distribution. Based on fourth table, it can be concluded that each sample comes from a population with a univariate normal distribution. And then, Based on fifth table, can be concluded that all population of each dependent variable have a homogeneous variance. Data on critical and crit creative thinking skills for each research sample are summarized in the sixth table. Population multivariate normality test data from critical and crit creative thinking skills can be seen in the Seven table. Thus, it can be concluded that all samples come from population with multivariate normal distribution. The A table is a description of the univariate normality test of critical thinking skills and creative thinking skills based on the learning model given to students. The conclusion obtained is that all Samples come from a normally distributed population. Homogeneity test on student score data after treatment or post test was carried out based on the learning model. Homogeneity test in the form of multivariate and univariate homogeneity test. From the ninth table, the conclusion obtained is that the variance and covariance matrix of the population is homogeneous. The homogeneity test of the three groups with each learning model is shown in pen table. It's shown that value is less than 5.991, so it can be concluded that all population of each dependent variable based on the learning model have a homogeneous variance. From the 11th table, there is decision result, model factor. It is known that its OA is rejected. It can be concluded that there is a difference in the effect of the learning model on students' critical and creative thinking skills. From the summary of the result of the two-way ANOVA, ANOVA test with unequal cells in 12 Table, it can be concluded that there are different effects between learning models on critical thinking skills and creative thinking skills. There is a hypothesis that is rejected, then a double comparison test is carried out. The average comparison between lines is the average pair of students' critical and creative thinking skills between learning models can be seen in the 13th table. Based on 13th table regarding the mean between rows, it can be concluded that the critic, first, the critical thinking ability of students who were treated with the PPL learning model was better than students who were treated with problem posing and direct learning. In the second, the critical thinking ability of students who were given problem posing treatment is better than direct learning. And the third, the creative thinking ability of students who were treated with the problem posing learning was better than PBL and direct learning. This is the end of my presentation. Thank you.